Hello everyone, welcome back to the walkthrough. Whip out the ocarina. Wait, it's... No, 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 it's... Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. There we go! I keep getting those buttons mixed up! <laughs> So yeah, whip out the ocarina, immediately play the inverted song of time, and I really should just do that on the C stick and A button just to save myself some ire and confusion. So now, I was immediately going to go to the temple, but I actually forgot to get something over here. Well, that that guy that just came through there is a part of another side quest, Giblet. But um, see, there's the fairy of the fountain told us uh, told us to come back there when we're in our regular human form so I haven't done that yet and that would be quite handy for the temple for what we'll get out of it and as long as we're gonna do this really quick I might as well get us up to why were you looking at me <laughs> I might as well get us up to six heart containers because well how often do you see people have that many hearts at the first temple? As you know, it'll just make things a whole lot easier. By the way, I should probably take this off right away too. <laughs> no, 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 Jim, no, no, Jim. I just want to roll my way up there. I don't want to talk. I know that the roll button and the talk button is the same, but still, don't don't confuse us. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Fairy fountain. Uh, uh, avert your eyes! I'm not looking at the screen. I'll try and look only at the text, though. Then I'll have to look back at this. Oh, geez, she's under the text. Ah. Oh, Tatlin, you kind young one. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. For now, this is all I can offer you. Allow me to ease your weariness as a token of my gratitude. Well, this isn't all she can offer you. Do, 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 do. She'll actually give you something else. <laughs> Come on, say it, say it. Oh, kind young one, scattered throughout the four temples of this land are broken stray fairies like me. Please find a way to save them and return them to their fountains. Surely they will add to your strength. Allow me to grant you something good so that the stray fairies will not fear you. And this is quite a handy mask for temples. Anytime that there's a stray fairy that's out in the open, you can wear this mask and it'll come right to you. You know, when you're close to a fairy who's lost in the temple, if the mask's hair begins to shimmer, so the mask also has a way of homing in on the fairies as well, I guess you could say. Come see me whenever your quest has made you weary. In fact, a lot of the time I'm just wearing that mask the whole time. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go out the south gate into Termina Field now, if you don't mind. There we go, Termina Field. So why am I over here when I could be at the temple? Well, as I said, I'm getting a couple of uh, ye old heart pieces, and I'm looking for a patch of long grass that has butterflies next to it. Well, I'm not sure if I'll be able to see the butterflies until I get relatively. Oh, here they are. So over here. There it well. Yeah. I should probably get rid of you first, shouldn't I? <laughs> so over here oh there it is. There's a hole that the butterflies indicate. And there's a pea hat down here. Now this sucker is a pretty scary enemy. <laughs> don't tell me you don't know about the pea hat. Just remember that it's rude as it's soft is soft. So you gotta get underneath it. And don't let the blades touch you. I should say leaves touch you. And just attack it. So, you can't approach it while the blades are in front of it, well, unless you want to take damage. But once you get under it like this, you should just be able to repeatedly attack it until it's dead. But it takes a lot of strikes, as you see there, and it explodes when it dies. And thus, this treasure chest pops out out of nowhere. And then, open says me! And, as you might have guessed, this contains a heart piece. Three so far. And there's another heart piece that's in a hole at Hyrule Field, kind of similar to this one. Only it's probably harder and it'll take longer. But I can get it now. <laughs> 
and it's over on uh, that mushroomy side, you know, with those rock mushrooms. So I'm just gonna go and roll around the perimeter here until I get to the spot. And uh, you also see something along the wall here at certain spots. Some oh no 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 levers, no levers. You know what? I'm gonna go just go up here. <laughs> I guess they like to go in the sand. Um, but yeah, there's another hole down here somewhere, and uh, not not this rock. That's something else. <laughs> It is... it is... Um, somewhere around and over the rainbow. By the way, these are the dongles. They just spawn out of nowhere. <laughs> where was that hole? I forgot where the hole was. If you want to attack the dongles, you just gotta go and attack its tail. Yeah, it shoots fire. But, uh, you just attack its tail like that, get out of its way, otherwise it'll swat you with its tail. Attack its tail again, oh! Said attack its tail again, get out of its way, and rinse and repeat, basically. But yeah, I'm still looking for a specific hole around here. So that hole is nowhere to be found, only it, I know it's down here somewhere. <laughs> oh, there it is! <laughs> I, I must have been completely out of my field of vision. Alright, and look at that, there's two Dodongos now, that, this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be a long battle, let me just put it that way. One, uh, once you kill them off, they will drop a heart piece, well I should say they will give you a heart piece. So yeah, let's just take on one at a time, just to make room, and the other one usually ignores you. <laughs> just, just don't let it whip you. Just don't, no, 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 don't let it whip you. Whip it, whip it good, but not Link, not Link, please. <laughs> Seriously, these guys have so much health, and I probably should be doing jump attacks. Yeah, <laughs> Jump attacks do more damage. That's why I should probably be doing jump attacks. Yeah! No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, that other one's gonna fire. Dang you, and you're... Ah, multitasking ways. <laughs> That's why you want to take on one at a time, if at all possible. And yeah, they explode when they die. Oh, look at that! Pink rupees worth 50! Holy poopers! Oh wait, blow your fire. Blow your- thank you. When you're blowing your fire, it makes it easier to get behind you. And jump! Oh shoot, I was too close. I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> Alright, just kind of attack more towards the tip. I said attack more towards the tip. This is why I like doing it when you're shooting fire, by the way. Because <laughs> it just kind of kind of give you ire. There we go. Oh, poopers. You and your long range of attack. <laughs> I told you this was going to take a while, especially if you're being impatient like I am. And maybe I should just be doing that and then rolling out. Oh, jeez. That roll kind of canceled out that whack. Yeah, maybe I should just be doing regular attacks when the the time is right and jump attacks when it's not. Like that. I mean, uh, I mean, excuse me. J do regular attacks when the time is not, jump attacks when the time is right. How did I mess up my speech? I don't know, but there, it's, that, that one's gonna explode. And there we go. Voila! I'm not too worried about my health or anything like that, because there's that, that fairy right outside the temple. And then there's another way to get fairies inside the temple, but uh, I, I'm actually gonna go drop off those rupees in the bank, and as long as I'm at it, I'll also go and heal up at the fairy fountain. So there we go, it's another piece of hard, our maximum life has been increased to six, and now I'm gonna go do some deposits and he- oh, I, I actually don't need the heal, because that, yeah, when I increase my heart container, it, it just automatically refills you. Anyway, song of soaring. Take all of my rupees! All of them! Enjoy. <laughs> Alright, one more song of soaring and we can get that temple on. Well, actually we gotta play one more song, but... Well, you probably recall me getting a certain song from a certain monkey. Well, that... He's so excited to watch me vanish into thin air. <laughs> well, that certain song from a certain monkey is the key that we need. 
Let's just get ourselves that fairy. There we go. Before we get inside there, I would also like to grab that nuts just for kicks as well. I'll keep the fairy out in reserve just for the sake of keeping it in, so I don't accidentally use it or anything like that. And then I will put the, actually I'll put the fairy mask there, and bombs there. Alright, oh shoot, one more thing. In case you forgot, the Sonata of Awakening. Up left, up left, A right, A. Got it? Good. And I, I put away my ocarina! <laughs> up left, up left, A right, A. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking right A, A, I mean right A, right, but that's not correct, and I also just remembered, I need this mask on, oh my, Arceus, how can I keep forgetting, because remember the monkey said uh, that you need the power of something a lot bigger, in, like these pipes, and yes, yeah, and that also the Deku thing on the platform is the thing that uh, indicates that you need to be a Decker to do this. But anyway, holy poopers, that poison water could have splashed me and melted my clothes right off. But we're okay. We're okay. All right, now to get to the temple, you've got to whoa, whoa, camera, 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 camera. Okay, <laughs> we've got to. Just barely make it across. Just hold straight forward, get the camera perfectly straight, and you will barely be able to make it. Watch us. Look at that, how close that came. In the 3DS version, they or they made another platform for you. They'd like they extended it just a little bit. But, well, we don't have that luxury here now, do we? <laughs> Alright, enough messing around with side quests and stuff like that. It's the Woodfall Temple, and there's a fairy right off the bat. Now, normally, if you don't have that mask that I talked about, you know, the Great Fairy's Mask, you would have to try and fall on top of it with uh, the Deku Mask, which is kind of a pain. But if you just put this on, the hair will all be all sparkly, and the fairy will come right to you. Heck yeah, baby! Woo! Yeah, and as you can tell by the sparkle, there's another one in this room somewhere. Oh, here's another fairy indoors, that's nice. Um, and down over here are some critters. I, I just want to give you a little dialogue thingy here. It's, they're not anything difficult or anything like that. They're just, yeah, just attack them. They're black bows. They are there, they'll just keep spawning, so don't really even bother with them. This is more like a punishment area more than anything, so I just like to show you this because I'm not intending on falling down here. So, <laughs> oh, let me let me go up. Thank you, thank you. Oh, and they can knock you off the ladder too, by the way, which is kind of annoying. All right, back to my Deku form, and down we go. We got to do some platforming. You can also shoot that hive over there to see if there's a prize. I, I suppose I could see what's in there for kicks. I don't know if the bubble... Okay, I was gonna say, I don't know if the bubble will hit it, though. That contained just a blue rupee. You know what? That's... That's not really worth it. <laughs> let's just put it that way. Alright, let's hop on down over here and open up this chest over there. And look at that, it's a fairy! It's a fairy! Oh! Now, if you want to check if there's more in the room, put on the mask. There is not. So we can switch this back over. <laughs> so that means this room has been sort of kind of 100%, I guess you could say. I mean, I haven't gone through the room completely, mind you, but, you know, it's, it's there. <laughs> And I guess I could have showed you the punishment area down there from up here, but eh! I guess I also should needed to show you how to get out of it if you fall down it. Oh shoot! I got too close to the other one. Yeah, there's Skulltulas hanging out over here having a good time. They're just doing some dance dance revolution in the air. It's just, just how things rocking out over here in Spider World. By the way, anytime that you see the, the plants, that they don't completely disappear when you cut them like that, they'll keep growing back so you can use them to resupply. Anyway, next room. Oh, that stench! This place stinks just like Rosie Oda. I mean, like that poison swamp. <clears throat> well, yeah, it's uh, this place is. Yeah, don't fall in the water. <laughs> Out of my way and give me a stick. 
I'm just gonna follow this pathway around and kill this one before it kills up ah, before it kills me and I got a fairy for it heck yeah there's also in this room there's a corner um, well somewhere um, if you're not in Deku form these plants they will bite at you yeah they're like a Venus flytrap of sorts with three leaves but since I'm a Deku they don't even notice me somehow or maybe they don't want to eat me and over here is another stray fairy, that's why I came looking for this corner here. Uh, you can also get to it from this end here rather than taking the flowers all the way around. In fact, I would say it's kind of easier going around that way than it is taking this flower to that flower because there's actually like a collision issue with this middle platform. Watch this. Uh, oh no, wait, what? It didn't work. Well, maybe not this time. Ah, oh, sometimes you seem to get caught on that. Well, in any case, it didn't catch me that time. <laughs> and if, you know, if it catches you, it kind of messes you up because, you know, your momentum and stuff like that. Not that it hurts or anything if you do fall in the water, because you just kind of reset from where you last were, but it's just a thing of that it's annoying. <laughs> anyway, next, next room. Alright, so as you can see, we got... An inaccessible chest over there. We can cross to the other side here, though. But is that chest inaccessible? I don't think it is. So let's go and hop on over. Well, actually, fly on over here. Look at that. Yes, with the power of a chest, we can get the power of a key. But we're not leaving here to. Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> I just barely made it on there. That would have been another annoying thing to have to redo, but that's okay. That wouldn't have been fault of the game. Now in here, remember I said I was going to teach you how to defeat these things? It's a snapper, and they never expose the weak point of their body, which is their belly. But, yet they... Yet they kind of do have something. Hey there. Hey there. Get over my flower. That's how you do it. <laughs> and that's why I couldn't do it while I was chasing the monkey around, because it takes far too long to set that up than it does to chase the monkey. Oh, shoot! I wasn't cl he wasn't close, he was just outside my range. You don't do much damage or anything like that, but it's just the, the thing of that, yeah. It's a timing-based thing. Hey, over here, over here, yeah! Down we go. And, oh, that opens up. This also gives us a chest. Which I do believe contains a dungeon map. Very, very handy. Especially after you get the compass, where you can see what what the heck you collected or not. Woo! Yeah! We got stuff! We can only view the map. Well, I mean, you see a little map at the bottom corner there, but... We can only view the full map by going over here. Yeah, and you can also see how many fairies you've got, so... Oh yeah, also, to change floors, just press up and down. Got it! Good! Alright. Now, if you'd like to, for the fun of it, you could put that mask on in every room, but I don't think I'm gonna do that because it means change you got on my Deku form, which is kind of inconvenient, and I, I can't get everything in every room anyway, so I'm just <laughs> At least not until I get a certain dungeon item, so I'm just gonna kind of flop my way around here. Alright, let's see if I get the... Oh, no, didn't catch me. <laughs> but which one was it that catches you anyway? I'm pretty sure there was... Oh, dang it, I'm not stunning you properly. <laughs> I gotta wait until it's fully extended before attacking him so I can turn him into a stick. Anyway, let's open this up. And now we got this. This looks pretty light. Well, don't just stand there. Press A to grab it and use the control stick to move it. So, yeah, you can move it. This is there's this block. You can only move it, like, up until certain notches. I don't know what it gets caught on, but you can only move it, like, yeah, up to a certain point. There's no, like, notch on the floor or anything that indicates where it gets caught on. It just gets caught. <laughs> Yeah, like, you know how in uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time you've seen it had those floor notches? I think I would call that another lack of polish. <laughs> uh, but at least it, it gives you the indicator that it stops by that sound. Now there's a fairy under the water. We can't get that right now because if we were to shoot the bubble with our bubble, it just kind of pops as soon as it hits the water. As well as that cage. Well, actually, they hit more of that cage than anything, come to think of it, it looked like. But basically, it's caged in. We can't do anything about that. And I'm sure you've seen that 
Skulltool up there, so let's not beat around the bush here. And there's another stray fairy, voila, number five. We are a third of the way there to completion, and now that we opened up... Actually, now that we can go around there, see, th see this chest? I mean, <laughs> not chest. See this torch here? It's unlit. This torch is still warm. So, now we gotta move out of our Deku form, and then... Yeah, no, well, I thought it was Elder R, but well, whatever. <laughs> See the Deku sticks? This is a thing that you probably learned from Ocarina of Time, but what you can do is light the torches thusly, and the moths will fly towards you and they'll hurt you if they touch you, so run away from the moths. And then when you get to this one, put away that stick by whacking your, I mean, by pulling out your sword, and then you won't lose your stick. So, okay. Now that that's lit, I can go through here. There's another torch on the upper floor, but, well, let's just, let's just not even... <laughs> you know what? This is easier to take on with the Dekus, surprisingly. Because one bubble one-shots them. There we go. And I can get them close enough that I don't have to worry about... I was gonna say I don't have to worry about missing with the bubble, but oh no no, there's always a chance to miss with the bubble. <laughs> of course, there's always a chance. Alright, the last chest is mine, let's cut the grass and see what is up. This, I do believe, is a compass! Which will allow us to check if we missed in rooms, yes! If we missed anything in the rooms, which I don't think I missed anything just yet. But now looking at your map, see how like there's those little boxes, just like they were on the overall map. Yeah, you can see that there are chests. And there are chests that we must unlock. Hopefully. Anyway, let's move out of this and then clear the way. Because there's another torch up here that you gotta light. See that over there? Oh, there isn't anything to clear up here. I thought I thought there was a skull too loud there for some reason, but I guess we don't need that. I mean, I guess we don't need to. And, alright, ready? Ready? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> yeah, you just gotta make sure we get to the top before this torch runs out of juice and- Oh, jeez, see the moths hurt you. Hop over that with a roll to make it a little bit easier on yourself. And now, inside one of these beehives is a fairy. That is a very good hiding place. I believe it's this one that's got it. This is way easier to do. Um, it was way easier to do with the dungeon item that we'll be getting. But it's not- I guess it's not that one. Um, it's- uh oh. I have unleashed the bees! No! Spin the control stick and, yeah, if there's a bunch of bees, you'll get them all at once. So, like, spin the control stick and then press the B button really quick. I showed you how to do this quick spin before. But anyway, I guess this, that was, that was the wrong one. And, let's see if I get, no! I just got slobber all over that. Come on, you sucker. It's easier to get it from up here than down there because the shot is, it's shorter. But this is still a Deku bubble. So you're probably better off getting this with the dungeon on. Oh, there we go. There's the fairy that I'm looking for. Put on the mask. See the sparkles? It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Yeah, there's a fairy inside that other beehive. So yeah, as I said, it's a pretty good hiding spot. And now, here's a spider web. We can't get through that spider web with any sort of means. Like, what? What? Uh, how are we supposed to get this insurmountable obstacle out of our way? Well, the reason why we've been tor uh, lighting all these torches the whole way is because... Yeah, yeah, yes, because we need to get in here thusly. Yeah, we can burn the spider webs. And then those guys hang out over there. You know what? I should get myself a couple of sticks here, because I, I was working on just one stick there, and I really shouldn't have been doing that, but it worked out. Alright, next floor. And be careful. I sense a lot of evil in here. And it's pretty dark. So dark. Oh, jeez! So dark, it's too scary. I can't go on. So I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.